Let's print an actual size production sheet in Embrilliance. This Embrilliance tip is by Embroidery.com. First, production sheets are useful for organizing your designs, planning color changes, layout, and placement. So to begin, I have an embroidery design opened in the software. This is a Jacobean Hummingbird by Starbird. To access the print settings within Embrilliance, go to the Edit menu and select Preferences. This opens a new window and here you can choose Printing from the list on the left. In order to print your design, you need to have the Print Stitches option selected. There are a number of other options. Let's go through them one by one. The top box is labeled Print with a Realistic Rendering. This means the printed image will look like a simulation of a finished stitch out. It will not show any jumps or areas where the machine might travel during stitching. I'll show you what I mean. Let's look at a printing without a realistic rendering. In the preview, you can see what appear perhaps to be extra stitches, but what they actually are is a dotted line showing where the machine travels while stitching within a color stop. My machine will not trim before moving here, so it's valuable to me to know whether to expect these travels. I can plan whether to stop the machine and trim them, or let the machine go on and then trim them all later. Here, where the travel line goes through this swirl, I might want to stop and trim the travel before the swirl stitches. Otherwise, I would have five trims to make rather than just two. Next, let's print crosshairs. What crosshairs do is show you the center of the design. With most embroidery machines, if you line this crosshair target up with the center of your hoop's embroidery area, this is where your design will stitch. Notice the page one note at the bottom of the sheet. If you don't want to print that, you can choose Print Design Only, No Text, and tick that box. There are printing preferences which are especially useful for applique. This is Dump Truck Applique from Sea Blossom Designs. In order to print a template for cutting applique, I need to select the color stop I want to print and choose Selected Colors Only. This will print only the outline color stop. If I have a simulated fabric or a picture of a fabric to print, I can choose the Print Applique option. If I would like that to have an outline around it, I can choose Print Applique Outline and a black outline will be added. The mirror option does as it says. Prints a mirror image of the design. This can be helpful for using heat transfers or other applications when you're going to put your printed copy face down. The last box is Print Color Sequence. Maybe you are wondering if you can print a list of color stops? This is it. On a separate sheet from the actual size embroidery design, a list of colors and small pictures of elements to be stitched in each is printed. So far, I've only used the Print Preview. Now I'll actually send the print project to my printer by choosing File, Print. Here's the print box for my printer. Yours will likely look similar, but not the same. I have options to print specific pages and multiple copies. To be sure that you're getting an actual size printout, you need to ensure that your printer's automatic sizing options are disabled. For my printer, I can access this option from the Properties button and then choose the Page Setup tab. Normal size and fit to page are both likely to change the size of my printout. Since I want a true 100% actual size, I'll select that option and continue with printing. This Embrilliance tip is from Embroidery.com.